How can you create, edit, or delete G Suite user accounts? How can you change the settings for all G Suite users within your organization? I'm Chanel Greco from Ciparis, and in this video, I'll give you a tour of the G Suite admin tool. Would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below because twice a week I publish video tutorials about the Google admin tool, Google Drive and so on. And I think it would be sad if you would miss out on any of those videos. As you know, you can access Google Apps by clicking on the Google Apps icon and then choosing, choosing the app. And there's an app called Admin. Let's scroll through here. Hmm, I can't see it. And that's the first thing, the first lesson. There's no G Suite user of yours in your ag um, organization that's going to accidentally um, access the admin tool. Because if you don't give them the admin role, they simply won't see the admin tool here in the Google Apps. So there's no accidentally tripping their way into the admin tool. I suggest that I'm going to give Jane example admin rights so that we can go on with this demo. And in the meantime, you get yourself a coffee or a Coke or whatever it is you drink. So Jane example now has received the admin role, which means that we should see, there you go, the admin app. Let's click on that now. If you'll be logging in the first time, so if you receive admin rights the first time, you'll have to accept the terms and conditions. And whenever you're working in your Chrome browser, let's say um, tomorrow, and you want to access the admin app, well, then you probably will be prompted for your password. Um, in this case, um, it's not happening because I just logged into this console before, but I also was prompted for the password of Jane example. This is just an extra security level, which I think is pretty, makes pretty much sense. Okay. So this is the admin app, um, in dashboard, you'll sometimes see insights on, um, things that G suite notices that, um, it, for example, your backup email address and might want you to confirm that and other insights, the users, this is, um, probably that what you're looking for to use. This is where all the user accounts are created, edited and deleted. So in our case, we have a couple of user accounts and let's say here, Adam, Adam forgot his password. You can reset his password. You can rename the user add to groups that you've created. And there's some more things that you can do with the user. So here is where all the user management happens. And here you can also, of course, add new users or go ahead and delete the existing users. So let's go back. We have groups that we created. So we saw before that you can add people to groups. So these are the separate groups that exist that you can create. And here you go, the admin role. So before in this video tutorial, Jane example didn't even see the admin app. It wasn't even available for her. Why? Because she wasn't made admin. Well, now she has been, and these are the, let me count six. These are the six default admin roles that you receive in G suite that Google has created for you. And you can go ahead and look, have a look at the, uh, at the privileges that these separate admin roles have, and you can assign people to, um, to this role. So you can see, click on view admins, and then you would see all the admins. You can add people, you can take them out of this role or delete this role from their account. But what's also pretty interesting is that you can create new roles. So it's very well possible that the roles that are defined here, that they just don't, um, contain the granularity of roles of admin roles or accessing roles that you need in your organization. 
And if so, then just go ahead and create a new role and add users to that role or add that role to user accounts. I'm never quite sure how, 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 how to say that correctly. And domains, um, this is where you would um, typically set up uh, your domain, so in our case, it's at Paris and, you know, the MX record so that um, our emails go to our domain and that everything works the way you'd expect it to. So this is just a quick tour and overview of the admin console. Um, of course, there's much, much more that you can do um, in here. Um, interesting reports you can have a look at. I'll be adding more videos about this tool to um, my YouTube channel. But why don't you go ahead and already leave me a comment if there's something specific that you want to know about being a Google admin, um, how to do something or how to use something in this Google admin tool. And I'll be happy to get back to you.